Hey developers, today I thought I would do something a little different. Uh, a new tool came out called Prepack from the guys at Facebook. It was just announced a few days ago and I thought I'd just do a quick first look at it. I haven't tested it or used it at all or even installed it, so I thought this would be fun, you know, try something different. If you can see here, here is the website for Prepack, and if you don't know, it's a tool for making JavaScript code run faster is the tagline here. So by, by the way, as of May 7th, 2017, it's still an early development, so they are not, they are definitely recommending that uh, you wait a little bit before using it in production. So what does it do? They have a couple examples here. Um, Essentially, it's a tool that optimizes JavaScript source code. Computations that can be done at compile time instead of runtime get eliminated. So it kind of makes your code cleaner in that respect. So they have a real simple example here where you have a self-invoking function that has hello, returns hello, then returns world, and then they have this global object. So then it get compiles down to this really simple hello world. So kind of, you can run this through your code base and eliminate some abstraction and make the code a little bit easier. I've heard though, um, it's not perfect that uh, people have seen it. They've People uh, have tried this out and it's actually made their code much larger and not quite as optimized. That's why probably it's still in beta days here. So they show us some examples of kind of kind of kind of cool things. Here's the Fibonacci sequence, and it just compiled down just to x equals and then the number, which is really neat. So I guess we, let's go ahead and just try to get it installed and see if we can run one of these examples. Um, and I'll show you how I'm doing it. So I'm going to click on the getting started, and it's going to give us some information here. So I'm going to get switch screens. Let's see if we can take a look here. I'm going to fix my window. Just one second. So you can see it again. There it is. And I'm using Adam as my editor. And I don't have any folders here. And I'm actually, you can do this on, of course, any OS, but I'm going to see if I can get it working through like Windows here through uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux, which is essentially very much like Ubuntu Linux. So according to the installations, I'm gonna npm install tac g prepack. Let's see what happens. It's installing. How exciting. Looks like it installed correctly. Let me see, make sure I move this up so you can see it. And so we're just gonna go ahead and create a file and then see if we can get working. Let's just go back and use one of these examples, which you can't quite see here. So I'm just gonna copy it. Let's see if I can create a new file. I'm going to insert in my function. I'm going to call this, let's just go ahead and call it uh, script.js. And if you ls, there's my script.js. And if we go back to the getting started, it says we should be able to just compile it. So prepack script.js. No source foot, source map found prepack source code s equals hello world. Okay, so it looks like it worked. So we can output to another file too. I guess this way it just displays on the screen. So let's try this. All right, so went ahead and created the other file that just says hello world. So it did as it said, it seemed to work here. Uh, looks like you can also, you can create source maps, add the dash dash source map out if you bundle with a generator. Um, I noticed, uh, I saw that someone already created a Webpack plugin for this. So here it is. So yeah, you can definitely plug it into your Webpack, which is pretty cool. Looks like it's pretty simple here. I'll, maybe I'll do that in a different video, figure out how to get this working. So you can kind of run this automatically with all your code. Once again, it's a little early on to do that, but 
let's try one more example. So let's try, I think this, here's the Fibonacci one. I'm going to just copy. I don't know why their site's not mobile friendly here. Or it looks like it, the width got cut off. I'm not sure. Let's see here if this is working. I'm going to try to copy everything in here. Okay, here is the Fibonacci sequence, which is slightly cut off. Make sure I got all of it. Paste. There it is. I'm going to save it. Let me just delete it through here. Having some problems here. Delete. Okay. So now we're going to run the prepack again. And this time it's running through the Fibonacci sequence. And it's taking a minute. All right, looks like it's done. Yep, looks like it came out with the number. Just to show you, you can also just, if I just ran node script process JS, oops, not script, but script dot JS, uh, it would have come up with the same number, but of course, we doesn't have an output on it, but you can console log global.x. Let's see if that works. Yeah, so same number, of course. 28657 and 28657. So that's really cool. So that is just really quick how to work with prepack. Um, Obviously, it'd be kind of cool when this tool gets a little farther along and it recommends to use it in production. I could definitely see this adding this to my webpack and just going through my source files and trying to clear up some things. Um, I would love to see how this works on like a larger system, a larger app that has hundreds of thousands of lines of JavaScript and see how well it works. If you have any questions, uh, if you like this video, please click that like button and click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And if you have any questions, leave it below. Thanks.